I first realised I wanted to be an architect probably in my teenage years. So probably at school I was doing quite a lot of history of art, history of architecture, um, and that really interested me. And then, and then kind of understanding about the built environment and the, and the context that we, we live within, I, I, I enjoyed all of that. Um, and, and that kind of mixture of, of the art and then the, the, the possibilities, the, the engineering, the real, realistic side of building a building and creating a space, I uh, just became more and more interested to me. And then, and then going to college studying architecture, I just uh, got more and more involved, I suppose. I think uh, Victoria is very diverse, uh, very rich, uh, quite transient at times um, and I think that allows uh, allows a certain freedom in, in terms of in terms of the architecture but you're you know you're looking at a lot of you're looking at Victorian stuff you're looking at 70s buildings like like the one where we're in today you're looking at brand new buildings being built all around us as key parts of Victoria that's quite rare in central London the key thing to think about with 123 Victoria Street is that it's a 70s icon and what we've done is bring that back to life. Um, and it's, it's a much loved building by the locals, by, by the residents, by, by the other occupiers, by land securities. And we've, we've brought it up to today's standards to be a modern office, but it makes it quite unique and quite, di quite different. In, in Victoria, I quite like the Goring Hotel, sneaking in there, and they're very welcoming. It's, it's a lovely place, snuck round the back, but you know, I'm very famous, but, but, it's, but it's very welcoming, an amazing service. Those sort of gems in, in and around are, are really wonderful.